All right, open the Pyrewild Shaman. Crawl Warrior is their top druid. Um, card. I think the pick here is Pyrewild Shaman. It's uh, a sweet blood rush trick in and of itself. Also, the VSU in the first blade. It's a pretty good pack. I don't think anything will wheel that I really want. Maybe a Toil and Trouble, but Pyrewild Shaman's good enough that I'll just take it. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I'll wheel something worth a shit, but probably not. Let's take a power weld. It's a pretty easy pick, I think. Um, okay, so we have a spike gesture, a putrefy, a wolf physique. Uh, I'm going to take a Putrefy here. Premium removal. Like, I like Spike Jester a lot, but uh, Putrefy it is. And that's also a pretty easy pick. Uh, catch and release again. Nobody likes this card. I don't like it either, so I can't really blame anybody for not taking it. Um, here I think it's just Warp Physique. Like, it's, it's good removal on its own. I could also take the uh, Give and Take or the Moss Dog, but I'm going to take the War Physique. <coughs> Alright, um... Here I get past the Runner's Bane, Rakdos Drake, First Blade, Gatekeeper's Flux Charger, um... So I'm not quite sure what I want to be, but Runner's Bane is like, it's pretty premium, it's pretty good removal. So I think I'm just going to take it. I uh, get a Notion Thief, Demir Guildgate, Uncovered Clues, Mage Rusher. Uh, Punish the Enemy is a pretty easy pick here, I think. So I'm like, it's four colors, not really sure what I want to be just yet. And this pack doesn't really help me decide what I want to be. Um, probably just take the Hired Torturer and the thoughts that maybe I end up in like the mirror. Splashing green for the Putrefy. I don't know. It looks like everybody's just taking the best cards out of each pack, which is fine. <coughs> not married to these red cards either, so. Still waiting for our picks. <coughs> Alright, this is sweet. Uh, really late Crawl Warrior, and I'm definitely just snapping that up. Uh, other picks would be maybe the Boros Mastiff, but I don't think it's even really close here. I think it's just the Crawl Warrior, hands down. I'm taking it. This fits with either Black Blue Green or Black Red Green. But the Crawl Warrior's just sick. So I'm taking it. Okay, microphone is on. Yeah. 
seven pit crawl warrior, so pretty good signal. a few choices here. I don't think I'm going to be in Boros, so the Mastiff is just not really that appealing to me. But I think there's anything else really. Uh, maybe I'll just take the Gatekeepers. And they're, they're probably the best card in the pack, but as unexciting as they are. Alright, I'll take a Windrake here. So it looks like I'm going to be black, blue, green. I guess I'm not married to the shaman or the punishing enemy. I'm not gonna hide him yet, but <coughs> um, just like nothing good here, pretty much. I guess I'll just cut the Mace Sentinel. Yeah. Like, I'm not playing that at all. I'm gonna get a couple gates, make these gatekeepers better. I'm not counting on it, though. Um, I'm not taking anything here, so I'll just grab this catch and release. I just rare draft it. Alright, Rack Destroy came back to me, which is awesome. I really wasn't counting on that at all, but I'll definitely take it. Golgari Clues, that's fine. A little bit of fixing. Uh, I'll take the Goblin Test Pilot because he's awesome. As an awesome, as in not playable at all. And Crypt Incursion, which I'm also not playing. So gate crash, here we come. Alright, I popped open a Boros Reckoner. Uh, which I might just take because I think it's actually worth something decent. Yeah, five tickets. That might, like, partially just pay for the draft. So I'm going to take Forest Reckoner. I think there's actually not too much else that's really like, great here. I can take the, I mean, Croconer is like awesome, but I'm just going to rare draft the Forest Reckoner. It's worth enough tickets that it's worth it. Uh, I actually like Soul Ransom here. You control an enchanted creature. 
Yeah, I might wield a soul ransom. So maybe I'll just take a gutter skull here. Or draping crises. Hmm. This is actually kind of hard, but I think the crises is good enough that I'll just take it. It's actually pretty close, but all right, not much of a choice here. I'm just gonna take the uh, balustrade spy. Such a fine card. All right, Din Revel Four is an easy pick here. It's a pretty nice bomb to pick up. I could also take the Scab Plane Charger or the Miracle's Gate, but it's just Din Revel Horror here. All right, I'm definitely not playing red now. At least I don't think I am. I'll just be black, blue, green. I'd be happy with that. Yeah, it's. I just rare draft it. That's worth six out of six out of ten of the tickets of the, the cost. Of, six out of twelve of the tickets of cost of draft. <coughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to play these gatekeepers. I'm not gonna hide them though. If I'm low on playables, then I'll play them. All right, doesn't look like does not look like I'm gonna be low on playables though. I'm gonna take the Cloudfin Raptor. It's pretty. Pretty easy pick. I can take the Sapphire Drake too, but yeah, it's just Cloudfin Raptor. <coughs> I'm basically just trying to get in there with a bunch of flyers. Hi, Dan. Um, so biomass mutation is pretty sweet. I think I'm just going to take it. Works pretty well with all the flyers that I have too. This is like sort of an alpha strike type card. <coughs> um, I have a few choices here. I think it's going to be the Xanax Guild Mage. Yeah, it's just, it's gotta be the Guild Mage. I don't have any gates to make use of the Screen Side Watcher yet, so just Guild Mage. <coughs> <coughs> Looks like I picked pretty good colors because Simic is pretty open. Hopefully, I'll pick up like another Cloudfin Raptor. I'm not counting on it, but hopefully, I will. Choices. I can take the 
Dark Goliath is another finisher, but that's really heavy on the mana. I think I'm just going to take a Keymaster Rogue here. I can also take the Psychic Strike or the Millennial Gargoyle, but I'm just going to take Keymaster Rogue. That seems like an actually, actually a pretty easy pick. So I can take the Total Parasite, Aetherize, or Sage Ezra Denizen. Hmm. <coughs> I don't like the Total Parasite too much. I think I'm actually just going to take a Sage Ezra Denizen. Um... I think it's fine as a blocker and a thing of the curve in two. Could also take the Aetherize, but eh. Not sold on Aetherize. I guess I'll take a Ruffian here. Just probably not playing it. <coughs> um, nothing really here for me. I guess I'll take Hinder Vines, the sideboard card. Minute recovery or last thoughts? I mean, they're pretty similar. I'm gonna take the last thoughts. Probably not playing that one either. But I do have a lot of evasive creatures, so. Oh, a skull crack. Why not? I'm gonna take a swamp. And a purge. Okay. This is shaping up pretty nice. I don't think I'm playing these gatekeepers. And this purge is not good either. Uh, so unfortunately I opened the Death Presence. Which I don't really think is playable to me. Um, actually it's just really not a whole lot in this pack for me in general. I guess take the gatekeeper vine. As unexciting as it is. There's just nothing, nothing really for me here. <coughs> yeah, it's just gatekeeper mine, man. Some sort of fixing. Um. Okay. This is a much better pack for me. Um. Do I really want this Rakdos Cacti? Or do I just take some fixing with a guilt gate? I think it's fixing. But I don't want to play against a Rakdos Cackler. But I think at this point I need some kind of better fixing. I'll take the guilt gate to do that. I could also take the Runeling, which isn't that great, or the Endric, which also isn't that great. Yeah, I think I'll just take the guilt gate. Hmm. I think the choice here is Indrik. Maybe a Rogue's Passage, but I don't think I really need a Rogue's Passage in this deck. So I'll just take the Indrik. <coughs> He's a fine card. Alright, so I take the Beetle or the Slime Molding. I think I'm just going to take the Beetle. We've got 15 creatures. I don't want to play the, the Ruffian if I can help it. I'd also like to get some more fixing, but it's not really necessary. I guess the only other real fixing I'd be able to get from this are Gul Gulgari Guild Gates. Um, so really just nothing here for me. I'll take the Inspiration. Yeah, 
just got nothing out of this pack. So I could take the Fessel Fall or the Stealer of Secrets. Mm. I don't think Fessel Fall is really what I want to be doing in this deck, but the Stealer of Secrets isn't that great either. Um, maybe I'll just take a Rastabout and try to be aggressive. I can also remove counters from it with the Xamet Guild Mage. And he makes a fine defender, too, if I need him as that. Alright, uh, Giant Growth is pretty easily to pick here. Yeah. Last thoughts now. I don't like the Revenant. I just hate on the Eyes in the Skies here. Yeah. Once again, just not much for me. I guess I could take the Chorus of Might. It's not really that good with all the, with the defenders that I'm running now. Yeah, I'll take it. It might be relevant. So Indrik and Roustabout came back to me. I think in this kind of a deck, I might just want the Roustabout. Over the Endric. Yeah, it's got to be the rest about here. Okay. Alright, Pearl, Pearl Shadow is a nice pickup. I could also take the Rogue's Passage, but I just don't have enough fixing to play the Rogue's Passage. Let's take the Pearl Shadow. Probably, I don't think I'm going to run it though. So that means I can not play the Hired Torturer, not play the Ruffian. And probably not play the Shadow. And that would this would be a fine deck like this. I guess I'll take the Druid's Deliverance. I'll take the Doorkeeper actually. Once again, probably not playing it, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be playing the uh, Druid's Deliverance either, so. Mm. I'll take the forest. 
I'll take another forest. And the plains. So I think this deck will work out just fine. Alright. Piled I converted. Playing these for sure. I'm just going to play like this. Beetle. Uh, Putrefy is easy to include. Crazy's Drake, Denizen, Windrake. Spy, Keymaster. Uh, Indrick. Horror. And Biomass Mutation. That's 19 cards. It's going to at least one more creature. I don't think I want to play the Gatekeeper. Hmm. If I do play the Gatekeeper, then I'm going to play a different another creature too to back it up. If I'm going to play another creature to back it up, I want it to be like at least an attacking creature. So The Torture is good though. Torture's got to be better than the Ruffian. Yeah, maybe I do just play the Torture. And then I need two more cards. Um, the last two cards might just be a Clue Stone and a Chorus of Might. The Chorus of Might or Inspiration. I think it's pretty close. I'm going to do Chorus of Might. I might like be a finisher or at least a decent combat trick. Let's play the Golgari Guilt Gate. How have I converted? How my color? Looks like I'm pretty even on all my colors. So these are blue. These are blue. That's five. Seven, eight, nine. Nine blue. These are black. Ten black. Uh, eight black. And then greens. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, it looks like I'm pretty well even on everything. Do I want six black to start with? I don't think I want to have one more odd than this. Black's not super important early. I do have Guild Gate. So basically makes six sources of every color. Um Yeah, that's probably fine. I didn't miss out on any, any of my removal, did I? Nah. That's good. Hmm. 
Two, three, three removal spells, two tricks, clear stone. I'm a little heavier on the creatures. Though the Kate Cooper is kind of fixing, so. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven cards that I can crash. Eight cards that I can crash, actually. One minute left. Only three of us have submitted decks. Oh, Captain Robert again. He whooped my butt one of this one of these drafts. 